All right, so now we're finally in the session. We're ready to go. I've kind of gone over the template. So let's talk about the initial ideas for Red Rum and kind of where I was at finding the chord progression and, you know, just kind of figuring out what I wanted to do with the track. So the track basically came as I just had an off day. I wasn't producing for clients. I didn't have any work on my schedule. I just kind of wanted to write a fun song where I could, you know, flex a little bit, uh, clap back at some haters, you know, the usual things for a trappy hip hop song. Um, so my, my background is in hip hop and in pop. So I kind of wanted to fuse those together and use some pop melodies and some pop ideas and then use like the aggressiveness and just the in your face style of hip hop. So going into this, I knew that I wanted to do a hip hop track. I knew I wanted it to be dark. I knew I wanted it to be uh, just kind of angry sounding. So I really just needed to find a chord progression that fit that. So let's go ahead and hop into my DAW. So normally when I start a track, I always start just with something like a piano. So I'll normally just use the piano from Arturia. Uh, it's clean, it does exactly what I need. So going into this, um, I knew that I just needed to get something dark and something mysterious. So I didn't really focus on finding uh, the pluck that you hear, like the dun 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 dun. So first, I just wanted to find the overall chords, and then I figured I'll find out whatever voicings I want to do, I'll find out whatever patterns I want to do. So I was just kind of playing around with it. I was just kind of playing around with like major and minor chords. Let me turn this up a little bit. There we go. There we go. So. So like this, some, I, I think I started with something like this actually, and it just sounded a little, a little too sad for me. I didn't want anything sad. I wanted something aggressive. So then I started kind of playing around with. That's still a little sad. So that right there added a little bit of mystery to me. And then once I did that, that's where I really found out that I was like, maybe I'll start with, instead of doing like really suspended sustained chords, maybe I'll start with just like a little melody. So I just kind of played around with. And then I was like, I like that, so. I was like, I don't know, it's missing a little something. I don't really love uh, the chord progression. Like, it's just a little stale to me. It, I don't know, it doesn't really have like the aggressiveness. It's still kind of just like a little too mellow for me. So I liked doing that. I liked going from. So I'm in G minor. So I liked going from, you know, G to A sharp to A. So. So I knew that, okay, I was like, okay, we're finally starting to go here. So that's when it just kind of came to me, the dun 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 dun. So I just. And then I was like, okay, so where do I want to go on this root note now? So I've gone through two passes of this little melody. And then I was like, do I want to go up? And then I was like, I just had to kind of figure out how fast do I want to pace this song? So do I want it to be? And I was like, I don't know. It sounds a little bit too like uplifting and kind of inspiring. And I didn't really want that for this song. So I was like, maybe I'll try something a little darker where instead of going up, I'll kind of walk it down. So I, I did something like this. And then I was like, eh, that's a little sad and somber. And then that's when it clicked to me. Let's do slower phrases. Let's repeat. Let's repeat that little right hand melody twice on the uh, driving bass note. And then we'll kind of switch. So then I got the. And 
it just added a little bit of mystery and suspense and kind of sustain to me. So I knew that I wanted to keep that G note pedaling on the bass for at least uh, two circuits of this melody. So. And then I was like, no, I don't really want to go to that F. Um, it's just a little sad. It kind of like, I don't know, it slows it down for me. I wanted something that, that would bump and that I could like layer some kicks and 808s onto. So then I started playing around and I was like, let me go down, let me go down to this uh, D sharp down here. So let's try that. So I was like, okay, that's tight. That's starting to get dark. It's starting to get mysterious. It's starting to get um, a little ominous. So to me, that has a lot more vibe than, you know, I don't want it to, I'm not trying to play Old MacDonald had a farm or anything. So I just wanted to really, I, I loved my right hand melody. So it was just finding the root notes that were gonna go under the left hand. So I just, I knew it was gonna be, So I tried walking it back like up to the to the F. So I tried to go, you know, G, G, D sharp, F. And bringing it back up to the F kind of brought back that uplifting and inspiring vibe that I didn't really want. Cause like I said, I was trying to like clap back on people, flex on people. I wanted to keep it really, really dark, really mysterious. I wanted the sound design to be super dark. I already had the vibe in my head. So I just knew that that melody's fine. I just had to figure out this bottom bass melody. So that's when I finally was like, okay, well, let me go to the D after the D sharp. So that's when I got this. So going down to that D, that's when it felt really, really dark. And that's when it kind of got that ominous tone. So then finally I, I just played around with it for a couple minutes. So it kind of had like this really dark, almost like Halloween type vibe. Like I definitely felt like it could be in like a horror movie. It also, it kind of reminded me of like the Halloween uh, Michael Myers theme song. Just, it was super dissonant. It had all of these like really, really, you know, we were going from the, the A sharp to the A. So, you know, one dissonant note there. We were going from the D sharp to the D. So between and we just had plenty to work with. It was plenty dark enough. I knew exactly what I wanted to do. Um, if you can't tell already, I don't know any theory, so I'm going to be breaking this down in like single notes. So if you know theory, perfect. You can probably put the name to the notes and the chords a lot faster than I can. But for any of you that don't know theory, I'm right there with you. So I've, you know, I just heard it in my head kind of, and did some trial and error. And that's where I got the idea to do that little. So that's where I started the song. I just had piano. Now the next step was like, I was like, okay, well I need to figure out a tempo. So I, I had that rough tempo of just kind of playing it. So I think I started at like 150. Cause you know, for a good trap song, you're gonna be between like 140 and 170 to really get that bounce. So. And to me, it just felt, that just felt a little slow to me, um, especially since we were kind of pedaling on this G note for, you know, two progressions um, and then going down to the D sharp and then down to the D. It, it was just not moving fast enough for me. I was trying to like picture some drums over it. So, you know, I would just kind of beatbox. And I, I was just, I couldn't really vibe with it. It was too slow. So I was like, okay, let me go up to like 155. Mm -hmm. 
And I was like, okay, we're getting a little better. Let me try 160 and just see if we are too fast now. So 160. And 160 was kind of like the green light, it kind of lit a bulb in my head and I was like, okay, that's perfect. So um, I know that we're going to be in, what is this, G minor, and it's just gonna go from G to G to D sharp to D on the bass notes, and then we're just keeping that top uh, right hand consistency. That's it, so I was like, okay, I've got my main melody, I've got my main kind of uh, chord progression on the low end, so I was like, now I just need to actually make my patch that I want, the right hand melody, the little dun 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 dun, I was like, I need to make that patch, and then I need to make some kind of low end patch to carry these like pedaling bass notes. So that's where I kind of got into sound design, which is where we're gonna go in the next video. In the next video, I'm gonna talk about just how I made the initial kind of pluck sounds, and then also how I made the initial just bass sound that you hear right as soon as the song starts. So that's where we got for that, and I hope that this helped you kind of see how I, how I made that initial chord progression. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting, and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you found this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.